morning. Okay, you guys have a bag, feel free to use it, but you, you don't need it. It's just, I like a little bit more challenged to activate my glute just a little bit more. So I'm just gonna work, but it's probably gonna burn me pretty quickly. So I'm gonna be pulling it off pretty quickly. But for now, I've got the lowest resistant band on, but you don't need it. Make sure you have a coffee table. I pulled one over so you can see a coffee table or a chair. Hi guys, welcome. Uh, pull a coffee table in case you need assistance. Some of the lunges or squats might be a little too deep for you or the single leg workouts. You might have to use your coffee table or your chair or your stool to give you some assistance so you can get low and get strong. Okay, full range of motion. Here we go. Let's kind of, let's kind of just start with a warm up. Let's go into a jump jack. Nice big arms, big arms around the head. Hello, guys. Big arms around the head. Let's go. Gotta make sure you're warmed up before we go into our intense full body workout. Oh, I see you got bands, awesome, nice. It gets pretty tough with the band on though. Hey guys, how are you guys doing? Welcome, welcome, waving back at you. Nice, all right, go into nice big wide legs, big wide arms, I want you to touch down, keep your abs tight, brace those abs. Make sure they're just not hanging out. We want to flex it nice and tight. Okay, feel those hamstrings. I want you to feel your back of your legs burning a little bit from the stretching. Inhale, exhale. Make sure your arms are straight and strong. Every time you go down, go down a little lower. Really feel those hamstrings. Waking up. Waking up. Yes. Good. Perfect. Touch down. All right, finishing off with three, two. Last one. Okay. All right. We're going to start in a basic squat position. I want you guys to just hang out like this. Put your hands on your knees and hang out for a second. All right, we're just going to start slow. I'm going to just get you to step to the right. Make sure that leg is still nice and wide. That's why your arms are here. I want you to reach down, touch. Step to the other side. Reach down and touch. If you're wearing a band, you might want the band under your knee. Oh, yeah, that way it doesn't roll. Boom, boom. Touch. Okay, make sure your arms are here only so you can repeat and maintain the width of your squat. Touch down. Make sure you stay low. Touch down. Oh, I've got this band on. It's really keeping my butt activated even more. Burning. I can see some of you wearing bands. You know what I'm feeling. There you go. So you're going to eventually give me a little bit of a jump, jump, because you're going to jump and land to the right. You're going to train like an athlete, guys. Jump, jump to the left. One, two, and to the right. And then we're just going to rotate left and right. Okay? Same width in the squat. That's why I got you guys to warm up with your hands on your knees. Same width on the squat. Guess what? Now you got to reach down and touch down. Ten. Nine, stay down. Eight, get down on those squats. Seven, six, try not to do this. Five, I want you to sit down. Four, three, two, and one. Oh, Whew. I think I might take this off in a second. We're going down. I'm gonna need to take this off for this next move. We're going into, now some of you might have to do the kicks on a coffee table. So put your hands on a coffee table, and you can do the kicks that way, or on a chair, or on an ottoman, to elevate. Some of you might just do a knee tuck. See this? No kicking, just tucking your knee. Keep it bent. Some of you will kick. You gotta pick which one you can do best. Make sure your form is excellent, okay? Kick side to side. You know, if you do nothing at all, nothing at all, for that one day, you do 100 reps of these. It takes care of your entire, entire body. Your shoulder, your core, right? Your chest a little bit, right? Kick, kick for 100. Oh yeah, you can move slow or you can move fast. So that's to you. Hi guys, welcome. Are you guys doing it? Get down and kick, kick. Challenge you, I challenge you to do a hundred of these when you 
are not working out. This is gonna cover your cardio too. Okay, good, finish it up for 10 seconds. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Oh. Doesn't that feel good? Body weight cardio and abs at the same time. Two, three, and one. Save time. Next move, sumo squat. Sumo squat, you get nice and wide. Toes are right. Everything is out. Some people may not get down that low, depending on flexibility and strength. Go where you can go. Make sure you stretch a little bit. Those inner thighs are gonna burn. Keep those knees open. If this is the lowest you can go, go there, okay? Together and back down. Stay there. Together and back down. Very controlled. Oh yeah, very controlled. You see, you don't even need weights. If you do it with control, oh, it feels like you got a lot of weights on your body. Feels like you're holding dumbbells. There we go, we're gonna finish strong for 10. Nine. Eight. Sumo squad. Bring your hands in the thighs. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Stay down. And done. Woo, you should feel it all in the inner thigh, not just in the outer thigh. Sumo squats are great like that. Okay, going back down, guys. Warm up those push-ups. Now, some of you might be doing it on a coffee table or a chair, elevate yourself to make it easier because you wanna make sure your push-ups are done in perfect form. Okay, on the floor if you want it. Just warm it up real quick. You can do it on your knees as well. If you have a tough time getting proper form, just place your entire body on the ground because you can still get really strong by pushing yourself up, okay? To warm up those push-ups, because we're adding something to it. Are you guys doing your push-ups? Team number two. Are you doing your push-ups? <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna add to it, here we go. I want you guys to add a little turn. <sighs> Opposite leg. Opposite leg. So your left hand and your right leg. Now that's too hard to touch. You don't have to touch, you can just do a knee tuck. Okay, just a knee tuck. You can do a knee tuck or you can do a touch. You stretch out those legs and touch your toes. Whatever you can do, again, you can do it on a coffee table. Okay, you can do it on a coffee table or on a chair or on a bed, anything, anything you want. Keep the butt down though. Do not stick the bum up. Bum down, good job, way to elevate your arms, I love it. Beautiful. Take a little breather, because I want you guys to put it together. So before you do that, go get some water. We're gonna combine the push-up with the twist and toe touch. Now, not everybody can do all of that at one time, so you can break it down. Okay, you can break it down to two push-ups, and then touch your toes. And then two push-ups, and touch your toes. Okay, break it down. Don't be afraid to modify, guys. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like when you actually put it together. We're gonna go into a push-up. Boom, up, touch, touch, push-up. Make sure you switch sides, keep yourself even. If you wanna make it harder, you can do two push-ups. And you can go four touches. Go into four if you like. And then go into two push-ups. You can switch it up. You can even just do one, one and one. <laughs> or you can do a push-up, toe touch, push-up, toe touch. Mix and match it. Yes. Are you guys playing with us? I can't so I can't see you. I I can't see you. Beautiful, I love it. You guys are toe touching, okay. Let's finish it off, strong. I do two push-ups, touch, touch. If you get tired, just go knee tuck. 
Look up spine too. Okay, knee tuck to the side. You can do this. Knee tuck to the side looks just like this. All good. Let's finish for 10 seconds. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Arms are on fire. Get some water, guys. That was awesome. Go get some water. We're gonna do that sumo jack one more time. I wanna see perfection. I wanna see perfection. Nice, strong sumo. Really target those inner thighs and the glutes, too. Okay, guys. Let me see perfection with the sumo squat. Sumo jack. If everyone does it perfectly, we can move on. Open up those toes, open up those knees. If you need help, grab a chair. You can hold on to a chair and do your jumps, okay? Your chair can help you get up. All right, here we go. Three, two, and go. In, out, stay. In fact, I'm gonna get you to do this so I know you're gonna stay. In, out, stay. Oh yes, there's no other time that you're gonna be challenging those inner thighs. Better be now, because if you don't do it now, you're not gonna do it later. Yes. And now that your form is excellent, we are gonna get you to move full speed. Here we go for 10, nine at your own pace. Seven, six, five, four, three. Go at your own pace. I want you to get to 10 so you can count your own. I'm already done my 10. You, fed, you can finish it. Finish it off at three, two, one. Nice job. Nice job, guys. Get some water. Beautiful work. That is not an easy move. You know what I'm talking about. Did your inner thighs burn? Give me a thumbs up. Get it better. <laughs> Good job, guys. Your cardio should be burning too. Okay. You guys ready for your next move? We're going into oblique knee ups. These are very advanced. You guys, some of you are gonna do, some of you are gonna do with your knees bent at the bottom. You're gonna get up and hold. Make sure you have your hands in front of you, elbow on the floor so you can get a little bit of help, but do not completely rely on your elbows to get up. You do your best to get up without. And whatever little bit of energy you got left here, you use that little elbow here to help you up. Make sure you're squeezing your obliques. You can do it with your knees bent, inhale, and exhale. This is a little easier. Make sure your legs are straight out in front of you where you can see it. And you're up on one bum cheek. Make sure you're not rolling on your hip bone. Not on the side here, you're on your butt cheek, okay? On one butt cheek. So the more advanced version is two, two legs. If you guys wanna do two legs, pull the two knees up, you can do that too. Nice, straight, strong, pull it up, squeeze. Of course, a very advanced version is where your whole body comes off the floor. <laughs> this is the harder version. You don't need to do this version unless you can. Otherwise, you're gonna put your hands on the floor and give yourself a little bit, of, little bit of help. Okay, you can switch it up. One leg. All right, slow and control, guys. Don't be throwing yourself around. Slow and control. Squeeze, feel it. Deliberate movements. Finish it up for two more. And last one. Remember what you did over here before we switch over to the other side. This is assisting, so it's gonna be burning still. Let's take a little break. Let's take a little break, we'll kind of come back. Remember, if you did it the right side, when we come back, make sure you do the left side. So remember what you just did. Which side did you just do? Because we're gonna switch sides after you burn your legs. Here we go, we're going to three wee lunges, guys. You're gonna slide that leg out to the side. Good. Then you can take that leg and slide it behind you. Bring that leg back out, slide it to the other side. Maintain your knee alignment with your ankle, okay? Make sure you're not completely all worked up like this. Boom, strong, steady, safe. One, two, three. 
One, two, three. Oh, oh my burn, my leg. Three more rounds, three more rounds. So once you cover three rain lunge, that's one. Two more rounds. One more round. Oh, you're working your bum, your thighs, everything. Okay, remember that move, because now you gotta make sure when we switch sides, you're using the other leg. But before we go to the other leg, guys, guess what? Switch sides on the oblique V-ups. Make sure you get the other side. We're going for 60 seconds. So you guys, you guys can modify. As you get more tired, you can just do the easier version or just take a break altogether, okay? All right, legs straight out, 30 degrees in front of you where you can see it. You're on one bump cheek. You got this hand in front of you to help you get up if you need it. If this is too hard, bend the bottom leg. Keep the top one straight and strong. Come back in, squeeze. As soon as you put yourself down nice and gentle, back of your shoulder touches the floor, up you go. Gentle, slow, control, and up you go. You want to squeeze your obliques right here on the side, otherwise kind of known as your love handles. <laughs> right about here. Not so much right here, but like right here on the side. Okay? You want to squeeze that to get up. You can do two legs and knees bent. You can do the total advanced version. It goes leg straight, that's hard. Or, or no hands. No hands, like, oh, no hands. That was super hard. You can do no hands if you want. <laughs> if you can. Finish it up for 15 seconds, yeah? Whatever you can fit in for the 15 seconds, about down to 10. I'm gonna challenge myself to do five more. Four, three, you got three seconds. Three, two, and time. <sighs> that feels so good. Feels good to burn out the sides here. Nice job, guys. Going back three way lunges, remember, you used, which leg did you use just now? You want to switch over. I used my left, I'm gonna use my right now. So I'm gonna slide out, burning this leg out here. Working leg, strong. Make sure your form is great. Come up and back, slide. And cross over lunge. Back to side. Back to back. And to the cross. Strong. If you look strong, then you are doing it perfect. You can't look like you're falling over. If you need help, just grab onto the coffee table or the chair, finish it up with four more rounds. Going at your own pace, guys. Three more rounds. Let's shake it out. <laughs> Two more rounds. Last round. Oh. And you're good. Legs. All right, guys, going down for hamstrings. We gotta work the back of your body too, right? So some of you might not be able to be on a table top like this, and that's okay, I'm gonna show you a modification. The idea is that you're gonna make sure your feet is a little bit away from your bum, and your feet is flat on the floor, but you're driving your heels though, driving those heels, but feet flat, driving those heels. One, two, you're gonna feel the back of those legs. Make sure when you drive up, you gotta squeeze your glute. Now, if you find that you can't squeeze your glute, you can go down like this and do it like this and kick it in. You do that as well, okay? This is harder. But you must do it with control, guys. Lots of control. You're gonna drive up and squeeze your glute before you come back down slow and steady and drive it up. If you're doing it right, you should feel your inner thigh, your glute burning, and your abs should be tight, and you should feel your abs burning a little bit too, okay? All those areas should be uh, activated. Driving up strong. Again, you can lie on the floor. If you get tired, just lie on the floor and do it. Okay. Finish it up for five. Four. 
three, drive those heels in, two, last one. Okay, that was my right leg. I'm gonna swap over. Okay, maybe you wanna rest your, your wrist a little bit, so let's do that first. Remember which leg you just burned. We're gonna go into a plank to rest that wrist a little bit, but we're gonna work the core a little more. <laughs> into a plank, you guys are gonna go into legs open, legs closed. Switch legs, open, and close. Now if you can do a jump jack after that, without bouncing your bum too much, then do a jump jack without bouncing your bum too much. Abs are tight. Good, try not to speed through it, go slow. Control. Team number two, how are you guys doing? Make sure it's done with control. I know I can't see you guys, but just know the cue is always slow. Control, abs tight, the bump can't go up and down. Okay, open, open, close, close. And if you can, you can do a jump jack. Finish it off at 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. <sighs> Perfect. Turn around, guys. No break. Switching it up. Your wrist should be ready to go. We're going to go right here. Now, if some of you are going on the floor, that's cool too. So I'm going to switch over to my other leg now. I'm going to drive up. Again, make sure your legs are away from your bum so you can really not just feel <clears throat> your bum. You feel your hamstrings. Kick up, hold and squeeze until you feel it. Drive your heels in. Press those heels in until you feel the burn. Then you start. If you want to activate, feel it. Don't come down until you feel it. When you feel it, then you can lower your down. Lower yourself down nice and control and drive it back up. Slow and control and drive it back up. Another way to make sure your wrist is safe is make sure you're gripping the floor with your fingers too, guys. So make sure you're gripping the floor with your fingers. So it's not just putting all that pressure into your wrist, okay? You want to distribute the weight evenly throughout your palms. So use those fingers too. Drive it up and squeeze. Oh. Now if it gets too tiring or too hard, you just get on the floor and do what you can do this. Just make sure you kick that knee in, kick it in. Kick that knee in to give yourself some little bit of range of motion. Then shut up for five, four, three, thrust it up, two, last one. And that's that for that, for that bum cheek. Okay, one more move to work the back of the legs and also the cardio. Now that we got that butt cheek activated, majorly activated, we're going to slide over into skaters. So slide over into skaters. We're gonna to touch down. No, not everybody can balance on one leg and touch down, which is okay. You can use a coffee table, so you can kick over. It's a coffee table, touch down. Okay, we're just gonna stay on one side. I was gonna get you guys to jump side to side, but let's just stay on one leg. You can use a coffee table or a chair as you Lower yourself, touch down. Okay, touch down. I'm gonna do 15 of these. All right, you guys ready to do one leg? Let's break it down, single leg. You can do skaters if you like, or you can try and balance down and up. Now if you can balance or use a chair or a coffee table to balance, that's great, then you can jump. Oh my God, my leg's burning. My butt's burning too. Finish it off for 10, guys. It's not, a, it's not an easy move, so you don't have to do a whole lot. Just make them perfect. My legs are shaking. I can't even jump, but I'm going to try and finish it off strong for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, good job, guys. Let's balance you up. First, before you jump, you must be able to balance. Keep the back flat. Again, use a coffee table or a chair. Maybe hold onto a chair. Single leg until it burns. You want to feel yourself balancing. Now you can reach down and touch down. You can touch the chair or you can touch the ground. You want to feel the burn, not just here, but definitely back here. 
posterior chain muscles burning, guys. Touching down. Once you can find that balance or the form, then feel free to jump. Jump. And jump. You can also touch the table or push yourself up and jump for five, four, three, two, and one. And that was for the back of your legs. Finish off with some great ab exercises, three-way knee tucks, and then we are done. Three-way knee tucks. You guys are gonna go into, make sure you squeeze your glute. When you, hike, when you hip extend, squeeze your butt cheek. Hip extend, squeeze your butt cheek back. Go to a spider. Squeeze it back. Go into a mountain. Squeeze it back and go cross over. Up, open, up, center, up, side. You can also elevate your arms as usual. Elevate it onto a coffee table so it's a little easier. Up, spider, up. Make sure you squeeze that glute, guys. Legs straight. And don't forget to twist over. Really squeeze and twist over. Finish three more rounds. Up. Three ways. Two more rounds. Up, spider. Up, mountain. Up, crossover. Last one. Up, and down. Three, two, one. Finish it up. While you're finishing that up, I want you guys to do this. Pretend you're angry. I want you to stretch that wrist out, right? Because we were on it, so I want you to stretch it back out, right here. Okay, catch your breath as you stretch that wrist. Get ready, we're gonna do the other side. Three, two, let's finish strong, here we go. Again, butt cheek squeeze, spider, squeeze, mountain. Cross over. <laughs> Make sure you don't sway your body back and forth. Keep up your body in one position the whole time so you don't end up doing this, okay? No swaying. Strong. Steady. And make sure you're gripping the floor with your fingertips too, guys. Fingertips. Save your wrist. All right, guys. We're going to finish it off. Three more together. Here we go. Up. Squeeze. Spider. Up. Mountain. Up, cross. Two more rounds. Spider. Mountain. Cross. Last round. Last round. Finish strong, guys. Don't come down. Finish it. Up and cross. Ah, three, two. Finish it up. Nice work. Finish it up. Good work, people. Right away. That wrist. Go like this. Right here, right away. I guess that way, so you know you can stretch your wrist anytime when you're having a conversation, boom. Right, when you're talking to anybody who's standing around, boom. Stretch that chest out too from all that push up. And believe it or not, when you're planking, you're constantly activating your chest as well. So you wanna make sure, stretch it and open up. Inhale and exhale. Strong. We did a lot of inner thighs. I want you to stick that leg out to the side. Team number two, it's time to stretch. Okay, you're gonna make sure you feel it right here. You should feel it. Oh yeah, I feel mine. You can even put your hands down if you want. Or not, just keep it there. And over, stretch your back. You can put your hand on yourself right here. Get a little help. Put it on the floor if you like. And in the opposite direction. You're gonna stretch that leg out like someone's pulling it, okay? Like someone's pulling your leg and someone's pulling your arm. Make sure you look strong. And your neck is aligned with the spine. Do not drop it unless you're stretching your neck. <laughs> but otherwise, strong. Good. Really reach and stretch, guys. You can feel yourself stretching this entire side of your body, including your hip flexor and your IT band. Nice and easy, come back in, gonna switch legs, throw the other leg out, make sure it's nice and long. Flat foot, lean over to it. Okay, you can feel it. Feel free to put your hand on the floor, feel free to reach over, or if it's too hard, just go down, whatever you like. But they all feel good to me. 
<laughs> I'm like, I don't know about you, but it feels good. Okay, some people can't get down so low, just stay up here. If you can get down great from there, you're gonna switch over to the other side. Whoop. Again, long, long legs, guys. Reach out and reach over. Inhale, reaching for last breath. Exhale, one more breath in. And exhale, come back to the center. When you get down, and just stretch your shoulders, okay? Just high five me. Boom, drop. Join that chin and chest into the ceiling, inhale, and exhale. One more deep breath, inhale. Come back to the center, switching sides. In, and exhale. Drop that shoulder, turn the chin and chest up into the ceiling. Be really strong and long, guys, strong and long. One more deep breath in. As you exhale, come back to the center, round up your shoulders, slowly roll up, roll the shoulders back, and you guys are good to go. Nice job, guys, that was awesome. I know we go through the stretches really quick, but you guys can stretch a little longer when you're done with me, okay? Awesome job, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me, you guys are awesome. I'll see you guys next week. Good work, and good work, Springer, Andrea, Spencer, Zeb, good job, guys. Thanks, Emily. Thank you, Sadie, hello. Thank you, John, thank you. You guys are amazing. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you guys next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you, John. See you, Spencer. Bye, Jordan.